Hotep, namaste, and shalom to you all. Um, I welcome you back to my channel, Occult Healing, where we drop the heavy sciences of, you know, dealing with the health, dealing with the vitality, the spirituality of getting ourselves back in order. And um, like I said, I, I welcome you all back to, um, to sitting down with me and, and to learn more. So I hope you all are doing well. Today's topic is going to be how to... How you can utilize the chi to um, to heal certain parts of the body, okay? So these parts of the body we're going to focus on are the eyes. We're going to you. I'm going to teach you how to uh, use the chi to heal the eyes, the um, the thyroid gland, the heart, and also the um, also the stomach area, okay? And how we're going to start this off is we're going to activate. Well, I'm going to teach you how to activate the, um, the, the chakras in the hands, okay? And what, what this will do, it, when you activate this, it will enable the chi to flow more naturally and more correctly, okay? And you can actually use this to heal yourself and also heal other people, okay? Believe it or not. So what you do is actually you do a quick slight massage throughout the hands okay and for the people that don't know about acupuncture and reflexology okay there are um points all throughout the hands and the feet and stuff like this the scalp that actually are connected to all different parts of the body and actually can stimulate energy to these parts of the body okay so what we're going to do is you know, just to begin to uh, get the hands ready and get the hands um, to enable more chi. And you kind of want to work at this, you know, this this technique. You want to work at it for about a week or two before it can actually be, you know, um, for your hands can actually be activated. I mean, it all depends on, you know, the person, but you'll be able to know. All right. So what you first do, you want to start off by doing is rubbing your hands vigorously together till you feel... Um, until you feel that heat within the hands, okay? And what you're going to do is take your left hand, you know, either one actually, either one. Once you get that heat within the hands, you want to start right here and massage your way up. You know, you want to make sure you do it nice, you know, until you feel the heat within this wrist area. Massage all sides of it. You guys can see that. And you want to make sure... You're massaging upwards, okay? Go all the... I mean, you could take more time. I'm going to just go through this quickly because of the video. So, you want to massage all the way up, okay? And then, once you get here, do your pinky. You know, you might want to do that like three times. You know, your ring finger. Three times or whatever. All the way through. You know, I'm just, like I said, I'm going through it. Then you want to do the other side, the opposite side of the hand as well. You know, you want to massage it all the way up. You know, like I said, take your time. Really, really get in there and make sure you're feeling that heat. And um, do your thumb as well. All up, all up, all up. You know, then do the opposite hand, okay? And once you do the opposite hand, you kind of want to fling your uh, wrist like this real lightly about five times or whatever then you want to relax them by your side and just let them hang and then you'll you'll feel an intense you know you'll feel a lot of energy circulating throughout your hands okay then once you do that for about a minute just let it sit you know i'll say uh, about 30 seconds you let them sit okay and then what you do is you want to bring your hands to your lap and um have them sitting on your lap and have them in this position okay like right on the lap area i wish i could maybe i could try to show you guys but have them sitting on your lap like this okay you know just down you know sitting like that all right and what you want to do here is you uh you can either close your eyes or you can keep them open but for me it works better when i close my eyes and you want to envision a flame in between your hands, like, you know, starting to get bigger and bigger. And you can, you know, just imagine the heat, okay? 
and just imagine the flame getting bigger to the point it, it starts to go over your thumb start to go over your index finger your your you know the all your fingers to the point of all your whole hand is just like on fire okay and just imagine this heat this is why it's going to take about a week or two for you to um to actually experience this warmth okay so don't just don't get discouraged in the beginning if this is not working for you all right again a lot of us are in a, uh, a lot of us are in environments that are taking chi. A lot of us are eating certain foods that are taking our chi. So, you know, it's only natural that, you know, you might feel a little bit weak in this area. But what, like I said, you know, this is how you activate it. Take about a week or two till you actually feel that warmth within the hands. And then after you feel that warmth, say you get to the point, it's been two weeks, you get to the point where, you know, now, um, you're feeling that warmth after that you want to slowly take your right hand you know this is for healing the eyes okay we're going to start with the eyes first slowly take your hand and put them over your eyes like this simply and keep them here for about a minute or two now depending on how bad your eyes are you can do this about three or four or five times. It doesn't matter. It's, it's all up, you know, it's all up to you. Okay. And you, you can do this every day, you know, by, you know, like I said, activating your hand chakras, like I just stated earlier, and then, um, bringing, bringing the right hand over your eyes. Okay. Now for the throat area, you want to do the same thing. You want to use the, the hand warming technique. Okay. So that's like, I'm going to state it again. That's doing the massaging, okay? Then having the hands on the lap like this, envisioning um, the fire all over the hands to the point the hand warms up. Then you want to take your right hands, you know, um, middle finger, index finger, and thumb and bring it to the throat area like this, okay? And keep it here for about um, about two minutes, Okay. And then and just envision that warmth going into the throat area. And you only want to do this technique, this specific technique for the throat once a week. OK, and no more than, you know, uh, say you do it once a week, you know, for a month. So that's four times in a month. You know, you want to take a break for a month before you go back to it. OK, so and this will heal the thyroid gland. Uh, all thyroid problems also um, it'll help you um, have more self-expression more creativity and you'll be able to speak up more because this this is activating the throat chakra as well and this has all to do with your self-expression so you'll be able to express yourself more you'll build up creativity you'll be able to speak your truth more okay so um also, I also had skipped one thing with the um, with the hands when you activate the hands as well. You know, uh, there's a lot of good benefits, like I've stated before, you know, and it'll heal anxiety, it'll heal digestive issues, insomnia, things like that. And you'll also be able to use your, your, your energy to heal other people as well. So I just wanted to go back to that. Um, next, you'll do the heart. Like I said, you'll do the hand warming technique first. You know, and uh, one one more thing I want to state as well: when you're when you're doing these techniques, you want to make sure you don't do them all in one day. You know, all these in one day. Take the time. You know, if you're focusing on healing your eyes, do that first. Then then focus on healing your throat. You know, for like a week or two. You know, what I'm saying like you want to take time. You don't want to do all this together. All right. So if you're focusing on the eyes, take time to do the eyes say about a month and a half before you start on something else then do the throat area for like a month and like i said take that break now you want to do the heart okay so you want to do the hand warming technique first okay so um how you do this is you know like i said you do the hand warming technique then after you got your hands warmed up you want to take your right you know your right palm and place it over your heart okay and, and you know relax and envision, envision like the heat spreading out all through and it's just like this light coming all around your heart and just like envision that heat. Sometimes, you know, you might need to envision sunlight being beamed on here on your heart area and that can help warm it up. Either way, you know, just envision a healing 
warm light around around your heart area okay and you can do this for about um let's say about two minutes okay and you, you can do this every day you can do this technique every day okay so um and this will heal heart palpitations weak heart it'll bring more blood flow and overall well-being you know the heart is like the king of the um the body so you know healing the heart is going to heal you know it's going to give you overall well-being so uh take the time to do that and the next thing is the stomach area so you basically do the same thing hand warming technique okay take your right palm and place it on your stomach and envision that warmth of light you know uh you know surrounding the stomach area okay and really getting in there and healing things and this will heal digestive problems you know it'll help you absorb nutrients more it'll help in stomach pain diarrhea such as things like this okay so this is what this is all about you know like i said i'm gonna keep it short also before i let you guys go um i'm gonna give you some herbs that help raise your chi as well like i said we live in environments that tend to take the chi you know so um tend to rob you of your chi so some quick herbs you can also do your own research and find many many other herbs and stuff also i just did a video about chi gong this is how you raise your chi as well you know my last video so go and check that one out um, I will do more videos on Qigong as well. That's just for big uh, beginners. So um, uh, just a few herbs, ginkgo, um, licorice root, ginseng root, cordyceps mushroom, and changa mushroom, okay? So just quick little techniques. And best believe, like I said, don't be discouraged if they don't work in the beginning. This takes time. You have to get your body back in the flow of using its own energy, okay? So... Uh, Please don't get discouraged, you know, always keep at it, keep practicing, you know, um, and, you know, everything will work in time, okay? So keep at it, keep your vibrations high, you know, I, I love you all and I respect you all. Everybody that's been following me up to this point, you know, I want to thank you all for supporting me and my website. Um, you know, I can't be more grateful, so... I really appreciate the love that I've been getting, all your questions and stuff. I hope I've been helping you out so far. So please feel free to hit me up, you know, occulthealing22 at gmail.com for, you know, any questions. You know, I'm, I'm down, always down to talk to people. Um, anything else, leave it in the comment section and I will get back to you. And um, I'll leave you guys in Hotep, Namaste, and Shalom.